KPRC2 is your vaccine central, and today kids under the age of five can finally get protected against coronavirus. Several hospitals will start administering those vaccinations, but what do parents need to know? KPRC2's Brittany Jeffers is live at Texas Children's Hospital in the Medical Center. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. Well, when we talk about the vaccination here, this means it will now be available for babies, for toddlers, for preschoolers. And that vaccination starts around the six o'clock hour. So here in about 30 minutes or so, that will be taking place. So as we reported on Friday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention signed off on the vaccines for Americans younger than five years old. So there's two brands you need to know about here. Pfizer and Moderna, Moderna got the green light on Friday from the FDA and some things to note about that is that Moderna's two shot vaccine has been authorized for children at six months through five years. Each dose is 25 micrograms, one fourth of an adult dosage. Now Pfizer's is a three shot regimen. It's for children six months through four years old. Each dose is three micrograms, one tenth of the dose for adults. Now as for the side effects here, according to health experts, some of the potential ones that children Children could experience our pain, swelling, or redness at the injection site, as well as feeling tired. So again, in about 30 minutes or so, those vaccinations are set to take place. Our own health reporter, Haley Hernandez, is here. She's getting ready to go upstairs where those vaccinations will begin around 6 o'clock. We'll have continued coverage uh, and another update coming up in the next 30 minutes or so. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.